It's been a whole year since my last top 10 best Kirby plush video. And that video is well past its time by now. So, as you already know, I'll be going over all my top favorite official Kirby plushes. So let us begin. And number 10 on my list is the Old Snake Kirby plush. Well, look at this guy. And you know I'm a huge fan of Kirby right back at you. And this is exactly what that plush represents. And I think I like it a little more than the All-Star Kirby plush itself. And this is actually one of my newer Kirby plushes that I got in the summer of last year. And I really, really love this one, and I highly recommend it. And number 9 on my list is the Old Sine Wildy. Once again, I'm a huge fan of Kirby Rat Pack at ya, and this plush is exactly based off of his appearance, and Kirby Rat Pack at ya. And I just gotta say, I love his design detail in that um, show, because I just like how he's like a nice salmon type color. Like in person on the video, kind of looks like he's more of like a dark orange. But I just love how he looks, I love his shape and form, and this is definitely my favorite Wildly style personally, and Sine just did an amazing job on transferring this guy into a plush form. Now number 8 on my list is Marks. I got this guy in June of 2021, and I gotta say, this is one of my favorite enemies in general. Like, he's just so creepy sometimes, and of course if you know what his final form looks like, Ugh, just kind of creepy, but I love this plush. The detail on him is amazing, and I love the plastic beans inside. You can hear them very well. He can stand very well, and just not to mention his hat. The detail and embroidery is also very, very nice on this guy. I like his overall color and the just the eye detail as well. So overall, this is one of my favorites, and I had to do some tough thinking between him and Kawasaki, and I gotta say, Kawasaki is definitely a little less better than this guy, and of course, it's been a year since my last top 10 favorite, so a lot of things have changed now that I've grown my collection more. Number 7 on my list is the All-Star Awofi plush. This guy came out in 2022, and I love him. I got him last year, and the fact that this is even a plush just amazes me so much, because this guy is is one of the main enemies in Kirby in the Forgotten Land of course but he's not as big compared to like other people and main characters in the whole game itself so it just shocked me that Sine took the time to actually make this a plush and the detail on him is absolutely amazing and it looks exactly like his game appearance he's just super soft the nice embroidery detail on him is also amazing so this guy will probably definitely stay on my top 10 list for a while it still just blows my mind that this thing exists it's like the dog in the Kirby series and number six on my list is the all-star alpha but before I get to anything, he is kind of tucked in in the shelf, so I do not want to ruin the nice setup I have just to get him out for this video. So I think it'll be better of me showing him here. And this is probably one of my new favorite characters introduced in the Kirby franchise. And for one, it came from one of my favorite games. The 3D Kirby game, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. And the detail that Sine just put on him is absolutely amazing. I love that plastic detail in the ears. And it just looks super, super nice. And it feels super, super nice. He's also sturdy. The embroidering is just amazing on this plush. And I can't say enough good things about this guy. Th there might be some wire in his ears to keep them from like getting bent or anything but just the detail they put in this plush is just super super amazing and i highly recommend you get him number five on my list is Krako, and i do apologize because once again he is hanging on my shelf on a setup that i cannot just absolutely not destroy unless if i really need him so i had to unplug the camera and bring it here so sorry if it's kind of like a messy quality but if you have this plush you know that this thing is amazing the sturdiness of him the nice embroidering and the way the color just transforms into that pink in the top and then the way it transforms into the blue on the top Ugh, this has got to be one of my favorite Kirby plushes and this guy came out like seven years ago which is absolutely insane so I love Krakow so much he's one of my favorite characters and the plush is just absolutely gold and number four on the list is the all-star King DDD now I've put this guy up for so long and I can even remember when I, in May when, of 2021, when I ordered Chef Kawasaki and Marks. I was debating on getting him, but I never did. I kept putting him off for so long, I could not stand the bootleg I have of him because of how hideous and atrocious that thing is. 
So I finally got the All-Star DDD last year and I could not be happier with him because this guy's size is a little smaller, definitely way smaller than my dream old scenario King DDD plush with the hammer. But this guy is still a great size compared to like Kirby himself of course. So the detail on this guy is just amazing. I love his unique style like how he is in the modern games because we all know that the old Tsunade DDD is based off of his anime appearance in the Kirby show. So it's nice to see that they made the DDD look like how he does in pretty much every modern game now. They still kind of like change his design appearance. But this is the most relevant or known DDD that everybody knows and loves. So this guy is definitely number 4 on my list for a huge reason. It's because I love this guy. He's probably one of my favorite Kirby characters actually. And for number 3, another plush that I simply just cannot take off the shelf or this entire mountain of plushes will collapse. I definitely need to get a new shelf soon, so hopefully, fingers crossed, soon. But this guy in number 3 on my list is because he's just amazing like I keep saying with all these other plushes but there is something very very cool about him. Now this is Lightbulb Kirby from Kirby in the Forgotten Land and if you can already take a guess this guy glows in the dark because he is indeed almost like a light bulb. Not only is this history changing for Sine itself and that reason is because they've never ever made a plush in any type of series they've always made they've never ever made a plush that glows in the dark so this is their first ever time making a glow in the dark plush and it's just absolutely amazing and that is why it deserves the number three on my spot and i have seen Sine's twitter account where they announced a glow in the dark pikmin plush i believe i think this year but this guy came out in 2022 so this guy came first as for number two on my list one of the newest additions to this top 10, Animal Kirby. And yes, I do realize that they are making an all-star Animal Kirby, but whenever I get that plush, we'll see if it beats this guy. But anyway, as for now, this guy is on my number two spot. Now besides the old Sine DDD, this guy has also been on my bucket list to buy, but I could never buy him because he was always too expensive. So I just never ended up buying him. And I remember seeing him at one of my local anime stores at our mall in 2020 and I deeply regret not getting him there. But then this in January of this year, we went back to that same anime store as we always do. So I was just looking through the bootleg Mario plushes and, and the official Mario plushes and the bootleg Kirby plushes. Because some of their plushes are bootleg and some are official. So as I was looking at the Kirby section with like all the all-star ones and bootleg ones, this tag was peeking out from the bottom. And I just gasped because I immediately knew it was an old plush and I was like they ne why would they have something old from like probably like six years ago because the old Sine Kirby set was um, stopped being produced and I believe like um, well actually four years ago in 2020 because they still sold some of the copy abilities like this guy at the Nintendo New York store. So um, I quickly pulled this guy down from the shelf and when I saw it, it was Animal Kirby my jaw hit the floor because this guy has been out of production for like 4 to 5 years and seeing him at one of our local stores was just crazy to me and I assumed while they never ever rotate their stock they still have some of their, their, their plushes for sale that we saw in 2021 so that anime store does not do good with their stuff because most of their stuff is bootleg and they never rotate their shelves and if you didn't know you can actually check the date that these plushes were manufactured so if you simply open the tag right here, it says February 20th, 2018. So it's highly likely that they got this plush in their stock sometime in 2018 and just simply never took it out of the box. But six years later, that's just beyond crazy to me actually. So I'm very, very lucky to have this guy. I spent $40 on him, but he came brand new with his tags and all. So it was pretty worth it for me. And that's probably one of my best experiences buying a Kirby plush so and far. And now my number one favorite Kirby plush of all time is the Station Manager King DDD plush. Now this guy is just super, 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 super cool in terms of like what Sine has made so far because this guy is not even in the game and this came out in 2020 a part of the station manager Kirby plush set with Meta Knight and Kirby I sadly do not have those two because they are out of production but DDD is still in production I believe so I got this guy off of Mega Japan of July of this year and I just gotta say this guy has just been one I have wanted for a really long time 
because when Mr. McCormick showed it to me in 2021 or 2020 I believe we kind of like joked about it because he looks so goofy and I always started to wonder like should I buy it and then I started to want to buy it but he was super super rare and expensive on other websites but thankfully Mecha Japan had him for $30 and the total I believe came out to like $40 maybe I think $49 it was definitely worth it for that guy, so I still kept him tagged and all. Of course, his station manager, you can see right here, or station master, the translation from in English says on every listing, station manager, DDD. But anyway, this guy is just super, super amazing. The detail is very, very nice on him. You could even take off his hat, but if you have him, I do not recommend that, or else you'll have a bald DDD. And who would want to see a bald DDD? I know that would look pretty funny, but yeah, I would just not recommend it at all. In the nice stitching for his jacket and undersuit and even the nice detail that they put under and that is his um necktie so it's a full necktie under there which is nice they could have just decided to put it there just stitch this down so that they would hide from from it like being cut off but they didn't they just went for the extra detail and that's just what's amazing about Sine because they always put the most detail into every single plush they produce so this guy is my number one and I'm pretty sure he will stay my number one for a very very long time. Now that officially wraps up my top 10 favorite official Kirby plushes. And make sure to let me know what your top 10 favorite Kirby plushes are down in the comments below or if you agree with some of mine. So of course compared to last year this um, top 10 has changed a lot in terms of like the plushes and like the numbering of some of these because I showed a couple of these last year but of course the main factor of this is that I've gotten a lot more Kirby plushes and I've also grown on a little bit of Kirby plushes like Mark's right here I've come to love that plush a lot and he's definitely one of my bigger favorites now so again I am trying to work on my Kirby plush collection so I think this might be like a once a year thing or maybe like twice a year it depends on how many more Kirby plushes I get throughout the year so definitely this is not all of the 10 because most of the other four or like the other three are on the shelves up there that I just could not pull apart or else everything would collapse. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning into this top 10 review and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, make sure to check our social media in the links down in the description where I post a lot of plush news updates on our Instagram as well. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys the next time. Goodbye.